G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Ben. Today we're going to have a talk about my latest challenge. I quit coffee for two whole weeks. Let's have a chat. Alright, if you've been following this channel for a little bit, you know I'm doing 12 monthly challenges, a different challenge each month, and failing at most of them, it seems. Um, look, if you've watched my 15 pull-ups a day, which I'll put a link up, I don't know where it goes, somewhere up here, you'll know that I overestimated that and I had to sort of do some adjusting mid-month, mid-challenge, sort of change things up a little bit. Uh, whilst doing that, November was supposed to be swim 500 meters every day. So while I kind of overestimated doing 15 pull-ups every single day, I was then going like, you know what, swimming 500 meters every day for the month of November is a bit of a reach as well. So I'm gonna switch that around and I'm gonna quit coffee. Of course, if I was swimming regularly, if I was swimming 500 or 1,000 meters three or four times a week, bumping it up to seven days a week might not have been that much of an issue. But given the last time I swam was like May, possibly even April, <laughs> and even then it wasn't consistent. It was like a one-off, like once or twice kind of thing. Swimming 500 meters every day would have been far too much for me to chew. So I switched it to quitting coffee for the month, which was also apparently too much for me to chew. So, here we are. If you're like me, you drink coffee every single day. Um, it's even hard to imagine going a day without it. I mean, I know people who are watching this video, and you know who you are, so I won't name you, who the thought of going a day without coffee is just unfathomable. You know, like, they'll be like, no, no, look, I can, I can have a coffee in a 24 hour period but there is no way I'm having a 24 hour period without coffee, right? Like, so it is, it's definitely a challenge. It's something I think we should probably address a little bit more. I mean, I sort of made a point of this with my alcohol video where I quit alcohol for the month, um, is that, you know, I mean, alcohol and coffee are two widely abused drugs. It's probably something you could look at. Like if you're sort of sitting here thinking that you can't go you know, a day or a week or a month without it, you know, maybe, it's like, maybe sort of reassess your relationship with it. Like, I know people who, you know, they, they have a coffee at, like, 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. every single day. And even if they're in a rush that day and they have to duck out the door and they don't get a coffee until 9, they'll have headaches. You know, they'll, like, they won't be able to concentrate very well. They'll get jittery hands. All these sort of weird side effects that happen because your body's expecting a certain thing at a certain time because you've you know created this habit and now you've got a dependency on it. So how did I go? Obviously I've just said I didn't do very well. I ended up only doing two weeks instead of a full month. Um, day one, I was like fully set to do it. Like the, the couple days before I'm like, yep, cool. Quitting coffee, first of November, not having it. Um, day one, I was like almost like in a trance. I just, you know, boiled my jug, ground my coffee beans, put them in my French press, let it steep, poured it in my mug, sat down, and I'm like, ah, shit, I'm not supposed to be having coffee today. Oh well, I'll start tomorrow, and I'll just do an extra day at the end of the month to make it a full 30 days, right? Next day, same thing, exact same thing. It was like Groundhog Day, right? And I'm like, all right, like it's two days, start tomorrow and tack on an extra two days at the end of the month to make it 30 days. I'm still okay, I'm still in this. I was not in this. Next day, same sort of thing happened. And then I was like, all right, this is clearly defeating me. I'm just gonna sort of drink the coffee that I have. Of course I could have thrown it out, but I didn't wanna waste it. So I was gonna drink the coffee that I had and then not buy any more, and then I couldn't make it out of habit and then go from there, which is what I did. It worked out relatively well, right? I didn't duck out and get a takeaway coffee from somewhere. I didn't nick down to the store and get some beans to make it again at home. I was just like, nah, can't have coffee. This is it. I'll finish out the rest of the month. The first couple days, three or four days, were really horrible, like incredibly horrible. I was lethargic. I was tired. I was irritable. I was having really crappy sleeps. Um, even if I slept kind of like nine hours, I'd wake up feeling like I hadn't rested at all. It just didn't accomplish much, those first couple of days. The first three or four days, just nothing happened. After that though, things came good pretty well. Like I, I got, kind of got over that hump a little bit. And then 
um, you know, I was sleeping less, you know, going to bed a little bit later, waking up a good half hour, 45 minutes earlier, but feeling really well rested and significantly energized. And it's sort of a funny feeling because you sort of associate coffee with that kind of thing, like caffeine, it's a bit of a pick me up, right? But it's actually like once you get off that kind of dependency and that need for it, you can actually kind of just survive quite easily without it. And I think that's something we ought to remember. It's also important to note day one back of drinking coffee uh, was a couple days ago and it was really like a really odd feeling. Um, you might expect like heart rate elevated, you know, my hands were a little bit, not, I don't want to say like shaking like crazy, but it was just a really funny feeling. So if you do take some time away from a stimulant like caffeine, obviously expect certain things. Expect that you're going to come down a little bit and then expect like a big spike when you go back to it. But then in between those is a really steady base level of energy, which I think is really good. And I think people should probably try and find that a little bit more than depending on certain stimulants. But hey, I'm not your life coach, so you do you. Anyway guys, that's kind of it. That's all I've got for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. As always, stay cool.